Hello and welcome to the Sunday Million Highlight Show. I'm David Tuckman, December 16th version, and we want to wish you a happy holidays from all of us here at PokerStars. 7,449 runners took part in the Sunday Million, a prize pool of nearly $1.5 million, and this is a look at your final table. Fish 2013 was your chip leader at the start of the action, but we're going to pick up the action right away at hand two. Lines are 200,000, 400,000. We always talk about what a global game poker is. Nine different countries represented at this final table. I mentioned Fish2013, our chip leader. He has won the Sunday special and final table the Sunday 500. And he's got pocket jacks. He's going to raise a little bit more than 2x. And of course, when I say 2x, I mean two times the big blind. Action on Colicos on the button. Not going to play. Corelli, though, in the small blind with nines. Pretty sure he's going to play this. Just a question of does he three bet or does he call? And he's going to shove. Has just under 20 big blinds. He's shoving with nines. Back over to Fish. And I can't imagine Fish folding. Nope, Fish makes the call. Pot over 16 million chips. And Fish more than a 4-1 to one favorite to eliminate Corelli. Jack-5 deuce, well... That 4-1 to favorite went much, much higher. Only running cards will save Corelli. He is now drawing dead. Corelli, from Poland, will finish in ninth place. Takes home $11,545. If you have any comments, advice, you just want to talk poker, feel free to tweet me at Tuck on Sports. Blinds have moved up to $250,500,000 as we jump ahead to hand 15. Network with the suited connector. Not going to play that from up front. It's only got about four and a half big blinds. I thought I might see a shove there. But he's going to wait a couple of more hands. Peanut raises. Over to Ara 85 who's going to three bet all in for his last three million chips. Six big blinds, back over to Peanut. Don't think Peanut can fold this. Nope, Peanut's going to make the call. Doesn't like it, but at the same time, when your opponent only shoves for six big blinds, really no fold equity. Aura 85 ahead. Not anymore. King of Hearts on the turn. Aura 85 needs help on the river or will be gone in eighth place. And he is indeed gone in 8th place. From Norway, takes home $17,877. Seven players remain. Hand 28. Once again, 7,449 runners. We are down to our final seven. Network obviously doubled up. Between hand 15 and hand 28, as he's now at 5.56 million. Our new short stack, TCAM 21. On the button with an ace, he's going to shove all in. Pretty standard. He's got five big blinds. You can't blame him. Unfortunately, he has walked into Fish's ace queen. And ace queen moves all in. Sapula going to fold. Ace queen against ace deuce and uh, TCAM in bad shape here. Well, in bad shape, no more. The ace-deuce hits two pair. Fish needs help. A nine, a four, or a queen will win it for him. Seven of hearts, and TCAM 21 survives. Back up to 6.1 million. Well, that's the way to do it. If you're going to get a bad beat, make sure it's against the short stack. Hand 31, blind still a quarter of a million, half a million.
Fish not going to play. Over to Sapula, 18 in the cutoff. Nope. Colicos with eights. There's the raise. Could see a three-bet shove here from that work. No, he's going to pick a better spot. I thought you might see a shove there. Here's the three-bet from Sayatar. Effectively moving all in. Colicos not going anywhere, though. And we've got two overs against the pair. Colicos still in the lead. Sayatar sticks his last 42,000 ships in the pot. Obviously, Colicos not going to fold. There's the call. Pot is 5.68 million ships, and Sayatar needs help. Seven of diamonds, no help there. King or a 10, or Sayatar is gone in seventh place. And the Canadian is gone in seventh place. But he pockets $32,000. Not a bad payday. So six players remain. Blinds now 300,000, 600,000. Peanut in the big blind with King Queen. Currently second in chips. You can kind of see the writing on the wall here. I thought you might see a raise from Sapula in the cutoff with King 9. But you can pretty much see this blind on blind action happening. Nat work with the ace. He should be shoving here. And Peanut 172 should be calling. This is a standard. This is one of those hands that plays itself. Sure enough, there's the shove. There's the call. Nat work at risk, but ahead for now. Well, no longer. Queen on the flop. Queen 9-5, rainbow. Nat work needs some help. Well, two spades out there. A spade or an ace will save Nat work. And that, my friends, is not a spade or an ace. Eight of hearts seals his fate. And Nat work from Belgium earns himself $46,183. If you want to play in this tournament for free, that's right, free, zero money, we give you that opportunity. But you need the password, and that's coming later. Everywhere. We are poker. Rafi playing poker. Gotta love it. Welcome back to the Highlight Show. I'm David Tuckman. Hand 37. This is what your leaderboard looked like. We're going to jump ahead a few hands. And the leaderboard really hasn't changed much. Fish still our chip leader with 33 million chips. TCAM 21, our short stack with under 3 million. It's only five big blinds. Fish has picked up Cowboys. There's the raise. Sapula gets out of the way. Colacos with sevens. Maybe expect a three bet here. Just going to call. Peanut folds. Don't imagine TCAM's going to play this. He folds as well. Kings against sevens. Pot 3.6 million chips. And a queen high flop. Had TCAM called that, would have got himself in trouble. Would have flopped top pair and not been able to get away from it. Action on Fish. Once again, Fish 2013 has won the Sunday special and final table of the Sunday 500. There's a continuation bet of 1.6 million, and Kolakos is going to let it go. Fish now up to 35.3 million chips. Hand 52. Fish gets out of the way. Nobody really getting out of line. We're not really seeing much, uh, much raising with garbage hands. We're not seeing any three-bet moves, really. Pretty much everybody waiting for hands. Now, obviously, it's just a highlight show. 
There's the raise from Peanut. Pretty standard with a suited connector. And obviously, we know TCAM is going to get it in with a pair. Nine eight of clubs against fours. And you can see it's a virtual coin flip. Peanut 172, actual slight favorite. And uh, it continues to be a slight favorite with overs and a flush draw. And there's the flush. And TKM21 will be gone in fifth place. Nice run for him. The Brazilian takes home $61,000. Peanut 172 up to nearly 30 million chips. So we've kind of got a, uh, a haves and have nots here. Peanut 172 and Fish with uh, the majority of the chips. About 60 million between the two of them, while Sapula and Kolokos both under 10 million. Creates an interesting dynamic. When you have two massive chip leaders, you might see them avoiding each other because they both probably want to eliminate the fourth and third place players before they get mixed up. I mean, if you're Peanut, the only person at this table who can hurt you is Fish. And same thing for Fish, of course. And there's a huge pay discrepancy, by the way, between fourth and second. We're talking about, uh, about a $90,000 pay difference. And as I say that, though, Peanut raises and Fish calls. I'd be very careful if I was Peanut. Fish literally is the only player at this table that can really hurt you. And on top of that, he has position on you. It's not going to stop Peanut. He raised to the ace, puts a continuation bet when he misses. Fish could float here. A flop like this, you could see it hitting the caller's range more than the pre-flop raiser's range. And I think if Fish calls here, he can take it away in the turn with a lot of cards. No, well, he's not going to wait the turn. He's going to raise right now up to $3.12 million. And this is just the power of being a chip leader and the power of position. We don't mention ICM on this show very often. Well, this is a perfect situation to mention it. Peanut's in a spot where, because of the huge pay discrepancy between fourth and second, it puts him in an awkward spot where he really almost wants to stay out of the fray until at least one or two players are knocked out. Queen 8-6, two clubs out there. The two short stacks battling it out here. Sapula with middle pair. Kolokos with top pair. Sapula all in. Kolokos is not going to fold this. And Sapula 18 from Switzerland is at risk. Needs help. That is a very, very bad card for Sapula 18. He's now drawing dead. He will be gone in fourth place. Earns himself $78,959. And we are down to three players. And if you're fish 2013, because of that ICM, you can put a lot of pressure on Peanut 172. There is still a $50,000 difference between second place and third place. Because of all these factors, I expect Fish 2013 to literally open every single button. Fish makes it 2x. Over to Peanut with the ace 7 in the big blind. Makes the call. King three deuce, both players miss. Great flop for a continuation bet. This flop very unlikely to have helped your opponent. There's a continuation bet from Fish. Peanut's going to float here. Might think he has the best of it. Dangerous spot out of position against the chip leader. Six of hearts doesn't change anything. Four or five got there. But now you're just reaching. Peanut checks over to Fish.
Is he going to fire a second bullet? Nope, he checks it back. Pot is 6.8 million chips. And the river's the four of spades. If either player had a five, that would give them a straight. Peanut checks one more time. Back over to fish. Well, the ace high has showdown value. You'd imagine he'll check it. He does check it. And he's going to win the pot with ace nine. And Peanut now down to 20.8 million chips. Once again, a $50,000 pay difference between third and second. No deal has been made. Blind's now 400,000, 800,000. Fish is going to raise. And like I said, as the chip leader, with this kind of dynamic, there's really no reason not to open every single button. Colacos made the call with King Queen. A little bit surprising. But he's flopped top two. There's the standard continuation bet. Less than a third of the pot, and Kolokos is going to slow play as king-queen. The ace in the turn actually might help Kolokos. I think Fish might have slowed down, but now the ace comes off, and he knows he can use that card. He can represent that ace. But he's going to check it back. And that might be a scary card for Kolokos. He's going to bet 1.6 million. Maybe a little bit of a blockish bet. And Fish is going to give that one up. Kolokos with Jax. He's going to raise. He makes it 3x. That's a pretty big raise. It's almost as if he doesn't want action. Peanut gets out of the way. And Fish with eights. I don't think he can fold this. He's probably going to shove. Sure enough, he does three bet. Kolokos gets exactly what he wants. A little bit of a cooler situation, three-handed. Kolokos all in. Obviously, Fish is not going to fold. He makes the call. 21.2 million chip pot. And Kolokos in great shape to double up. Ace, King, Deuce, Rainbow Board. Absolutely nothing there for Fish. An 8 and only an 8 will eliminate Kolokos. And Kolokos now back up to 21.2 million chips. Terrible news for Peanut, who is now the short stack. We are 10,000 people in Brazil holding our breath. We are alone. Hunters. Hunted. We are committed. Blessed. Calm. We are all in. We are poker. We are poker indeed. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlights show. If this is what you were waiting for, here it is. The password to get you into the online poker show free roll is space gravy. That's right, space gravy. Hand 79, this is what it looked like. Three ways, Peanut, our short stack from the UK. Fish 2013 from Belarus, our chip leader. Hand 82, blind still 400,000, 800,000. Kolokos on the button, not gonna play. Peanut with 20 big blinds, gonna raise. A lot of players raise a little bit more from the small blind, knowing that if they're called, they're going to play the hand out of position. 
I'm a little bit surprised Peanut raised minimum from the small blind. Or maybe he just knew he was going to flop the nuts. He flops the joint. Ace high flush for him. Fish with top pair. Peanut's not going to slow play. He bets $1.4 million. Fish makes the call. Pot is 6.2 million chips. King of Spades. Not a great card for Peanut that might kill some of his action. I was thinking about what to do here. He's going to continue firing, and he bets small, about one-third of the pot. 2.3 million into 6.26 million. Over to Fish. And Fish is going to make the call one more time. Pot now 10.9 million. River a much better card if you're hoping to get paid off. And would you ever check this? Would you ever bet it twice and then check it, thinking, you know what, if my opponent's got a nine, he might bet it for value. And if he's missed, well, maybe he'll bluff at it. Peanut decides to bet it, though. And fish folds. Obviously, a lot easier from where I sit. So much easier. This game is simple when you can see the cards. Our chip leader on the button raises once again, doing what he should do with the big stack. Colacos got a three bet with the ace king, and Peanut could four bet shove here. I think if you're Peanut, you almost have to four bet shove this. There it is. There's the four bet shove. Fish will get out of the way. Back over to Colacos. And I can't imagine him folding ace-king. Kolokos makes the call. Pot is 40 million chips, and the winner of this pot will be our chip leader. And there's the king. Kolokos all in, at risk, hits the king. Has to fade a nine on the river. Nine ball, corner pocket. Not this time. Three of spades. And peanut 172 is on fumes. He's down to 3.1 million. Kolokos, our chip leader. 84 hands into the final table. And for the first time at this final table, we have a new chip leader, and that's Kolokos. And he opens on the button. Peanut folds over to Fish. Fish is going to make the call. Both players get a piece of it. Top pair for Fish. Second pair for Kolokos. Kolokos, by the way, from Cyprus. There's a continuation bet of 1.6 million. Fish is going to call. Turns a heart. Fish has got the ace of hearts to boot. He's going to check. You imagine Kolokos might check this back. Nope, he's going to bet 1.6 million. I'm not sure if I love that bet. I'm just not sure at this point if you can get called by worse. I mean, I guess you can get called by King Jack, King Ten of Hearts. Jack on the river. You'd imagine this will go check, check. Unless Kolokos is turning his hand into a bluff, he has to check this back. Yeah, he finally does check it back. And Fish is once again our chip leader. So it lasted one hand. Fish 2013 was not our chip leader for exactly one hand. The excitement is building.
my sound producer at the edge of his seat. I can see him from here. Once again, the chip leaders getting involved. Peanut would love nothing more than one of these players eliminating the other one. Fish bets 2.2 .2 million. Colacos not going anywhere on a 10 10 8 board, that's for sure. Now, Fish has picked up the nut flush draw to go along with the ace. You can see that he's a 3 to 1 dog, needs a club or an ace to win the hand. And he might put a kind of small name your price bet. Maybe 2.4 million. Figures it'll be difficult for his opponent to raise him. But instead, he's actually going to bet 5 million and try to take it down right now. Colacos makes the call. Pot 18.8 .8 million chips. And a king on the river. And Fish moves all in. Fish moves all in. And Colacos lets it go. Wow, what a move from Fish. Colacos can't pull the trigger and make that call with nines. So difficult to do that. And Fish, exerting pressure on Colacos, is back up to 42 million chips. Peanut all in with the queen high. Colacos is going to make this call. Peanut at risk, needs to get lucky, but hey, he's got live cards. Well, a wing and a prayer now is all he's got. Ace, king, five, and the six of spades now makes Peanut 172, drawing dead. From the United Kingdom, he'll take home six figures, $119,000, and then there were two. Fish 2013, our chip leader with 42 million chips. Colacos in second with 30 million. He's on the button with 9-8. Blinds are now a half a million, one million. Colacos gonna limp on the button. A little bit unconventional. Fish is certainly gonna raise here. He makes it three million. Colacos makes the call. Once again, Colacos from Cyprus. Fish 2013 from Belarus. Wow, what a flop. You got to be kidding me. What a flop. Colacos flops the straight. He flops the queen high straight. Fish with the over pair plus the open ended straight draw. What a cooler for Fish. He bets 2.5 million. Colacos is going to raise right away. I love it. I love the fast play from Colacos. It might actually look like he's got a pair to go along with a straight draw, at least in Fish's eyes. I don't see Fish getting away from this. He's obviously a great player. But I just can't see him getting away from this one. He's going to make the call. Pot is 26 million chips. Turn is a 10. You don't love that card if you're fish. That's another hand you can't beat. You can't beat 10-9 or king-10. Fish deciding what to do here. The pot is 26 million chips. He has 30 million chips. Colacos with just under 18 million. You'd imagine Colacos will move all in. He does just that. Moves all in for his last 17.9 million chips. Back over to Fish 2013. And Fish lets it go. Great laydown from Fish. 
I know a lot of players who just shove on the on the flop. Fish decides not to, wants to see another card, and then lets it go. Fish raising on the button. Colacos makes the call. Top pair for Colacos, middle pair for Fish. Colacos checks over to Fish. Fish probably going to check this one back, and he does. He's got showdown value. No need to build a pot with just middle pair and a four kicker. Colacos now going to bet on the turn. And it's a big bet. I mean, we're talking about, about a full pot size bet from Colacos. Fish makes the call. And the river completes the heart draw. And Colacos bets six million. Can Fish fold this? He's only got a bluff catcher now. I can't imagine Colacos betting a hand worse than 10 4 for value here. And Fish once again makes a good laydown. Very impressive performance from Fish 2013. Hand 137, blind 600,000, 1.2 million. Colacos on the button. Continues to limp in on the button. And as always in heads-up action, the player on the button acts first pre-flop, but acts last post-flop. 876, rainbow flop. Colacos with top pair. Fish, open-ended. You can see Colacos about a 3-2 to two favorite if it goes to showdown. Colacos hitting cards heads up here. He's already flopped a straight and top pair a couple of times. Fish is going to lead out. Colacos makes the call. Fish now with a pair to go along with his open-ended straight draw. He's going to check now over to Colacos with top pair. There's the bet, 2.4 million. Fish calls, pot over 10 million chips now. And the river gives Colacos trip eights and might get Fish in trouble. Fish checks over to Colacos. And he's going to bet 8.4 million. It's a big bet. I like it. A big bet. Might confuse Fish 2013. He can only beat a bluff. And he's going to let it go once again. Colacos now up over 60 million chips. Fish below 14 million. Hand 140. 10 7 of clubs on the button for Fish. Colacos with the ace 10 offsuit. Fish is going to raise here, and I imagine Colacos shoving all in. Yep, there is the shove. And I don't know. Well, Fish has put more than a third of his chips in the pot. He's going to make the call. Once again, no deal has been made. 855, this could be it. Fish needs help. Well, he's now open ended. But he's not going to hit it. The Deuce of Hearts on the river, and that is it. Fish 2013, an extremely impressive performance. He finishes in second place, takes home $164,000. But congratulations indeed to Colacos from Cyprus. Takes home $223,000. Didn't look like it was his tournament, but when it counted, he stepped up. Once again, no deal made. Colacos earning himself $223,000. Fish 2013 adding a second place finish to his already impressive poker resume as he took home $164,000. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. Once again, 
Happy holidays from all of us here at PokerStars. And as always, all the highlights will be here on PokerStars.tv. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Reach for the stars.